Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do the new topic that is the perimeter in area. So we will do the part one of it. So we will go directly for the exercise and wherever possible I will give you the explanation because we have already done for the uh, other book we have done perimeter in area. So you can also if you need extra practice on it you can go to the you can go to my playlist and see for the perimeter and area. So this is directly from the book that is the Frank ICAC for the grade A. So now we'll go for the exercise 17.1. So it said here find the area of square whose perimeter is 80 meter. So now whenever we want first thing they asked us for the area of square. So just concentrate over here. This is bit black twist. So when they say area of square means you, you should know the formula for area of square that is s square or we can write s into s or we can write s square that is the side you know this is a square and the square all the sides are the same. So we'll take one this side and this side like suppose this is 4 this, this also should be 4 centimeter or meter whatever it is. So now we need s for this one if you want to find out the square. So here directly the side is not given. Here you can see perimeter is given. So what are you going to do in such type of problem? You will start with the given things. Now see here why? Because now the perimeter of a square. So perimeter of square. So that is 4 into S. So you know the perimeter. Perimeter means the sum of all sides. So this plus this plus this plus this. So now you, you will add all the sides. So you know that that is a square means here is 4 means this also should be 4, 4 and 4. So you are going to add all. So now here that perimeter of square that formula is 4 in s or 4 into s. So the perimeter of square is given as 80. So below this perimeter you are going to write 80 and this 4 will be as it is and this s also as it is. So now what will you do? This is actually multiplication. So 80 will be here and this will go here in the denominator. So that is s. So here will be 20. So now you got s. So that is what we want. That is the side. So now it is easy to find out the area of square. So now you got side of square is 20 meter because this is given in meter perimeter. So now area of square, the formula is side square. So this is going to be 20 square. So 20 square means 20 into 20. So you know two twos are 4 and this two zeros. So that is going to be 400. But since it is area, perimeter is always given in meter, but that will be square meter. Or you can also write here 400 meter square. Both is the same. Either you write S Q and put a dot and put m or you can write here meter square. The perimeter of a rectangular sheet is 70 centimeter. If its breadth is 15 centimeter, find the length. Also find the area. So this perimeter of rectangular sheet, this is given, this is 70 centimeter and we'll write the given things first. That is breadth is given as 15 centimeter. We want the length. So what will you do? We want the area. So before finding out the area, now we'll start, as I told you, we'll start with the given things. Why? Because for the area, area of a, because this is a rectangle, we have the formula twice into length plus breadth. So here we don't know, we know the breadth, this one the breadth, but we don't know the length. So first thing we should know the length and then we are going to put in this one so we get the area. So now what will you do? The perimeter is given. So perimeter of rectangle, so sorry for the area, uh, that is the uh, area is equal to the area of rectangle. We want the area of rectangle that is going to be length into breadth. So that was what I told her. That was for the perimeter. So if you want area, area is going to length into breadth. So here what will you do? We don't know the length. Only we know the breadth. So first thing we have to find out the length. So now we'll start because the perimeter is given. We'll start with the perimeter of rectangle. That is given as twice into length plus breadth. This you have to remember. And I'll tell you one easy way to find out the perimeter. Now see here, this is the length. And this is the breadth of it. So what will you do here? This length and length means it is going to be 12. This breadth and breadth, this is going to be 2B. So what will you do? This is one term, this is the other term. So you will take from this both of them, the common is 2. So what remains here in the bracket is L plus B. This L from here, because when you expand this, you get 2 as L plus 2B. That is same as 2 as L plus 2B. Hope this is clear because many of them get, this. they forget this formula. So this is one of the way. To remember because you know the perimeter means it is the sum of all sides. So now this is twice into L plus B. So now you can also see here the perimeter is given as 70. So that, will, that is going to be twice into 
this length plus breadth means length we don't know the breadth is here given that is 15 so now what will you do here so we'll write this 70 as it is this is actually multiplication so now let us take this 2 here so that will go in the denominator this l plus 15 will keep both together so now what will you get 2 ones are 2 35s are so that is going to be 35 my this will if it plus 15 if you take on the other side that is going to be minus 15 and this is l so this is going to be 20 centimeter that is length so what is the area of the rectangle area of the rectangle is as i said before that is length into breadth so now we, we got the length and the breadth also is here so that is 20 into 15 that is 300 and these the dimensions here this is given in centimeter so we'll write centimeter square or you can write here 300 square centimeter both is the same the length and breadth of a rectangular piece of land are 200 meter and 150 meter respectively when we say here means this is the length and this is the breadth hope this is clear and they have given here find the total cost of the length of the uh, land if one square meter of the land cost rupees 5000 rupees so now first now let us write the given things length of the rectangular piece of land that is 200 meter the breadth is 150 meter so here see here there is square meter so one square meter is rupees 5000 that means first thing what we have to do because here this is a confusion whether to find out the perimeter or the area because this is given in square meter means definitely area is in square meter so we have to start with the even if because here see because the length also is given breadth also is given always there can be confusion so whether we have to find the perimeter so the perimeter is twice l plus b so even that satisfies that we know length and we know breadth but then why are we taking the area so that is very important because the cost is given as one square meter so that means the area because the area the unit is in square hope this part is very important so now we'll start with the area this is length into breadth and the length is 200 and the breadth is 150 so and when we multiply this one that should be 30,000 square meter and now we have to find out the total cost so now we know the area is 30,000 square meter so cost of one square meter is given as 5,000 so therefore 30 square meter will be how much so what will you do you are going to cross multiply it here here is nothing so when you cross multiply 30,000 into 5,000 that is going to be this will be the answer that will be in rupees the area of a square of side 18 centimeter is now see here same as that of a rectangle of length 27 centimeter and you have to find the breadth of the rectangle so what is given here area of a square of side side is given side of square is 18 centimeter so we don't know first thing they said area is same as the rectangle so what will you do first we will find out the area of square so now see here because it is same so you should know the area of square first so area of square we know the side and the formula is side square so side square means 18 this is given as 18 so 18 into 18 that is 324 square centimeter always because area so that should be in square centimeter so now it's given here area is same as that of a rectangle so area of square is equal to area of rectangle let us write this one so now you know you, we, we already got the area this one so now we'll write here area of rectangle that is length into breadth so now you know because the area of square is equal to area of rectangle in place of area of rectangle you are going to write here because you know area of square is uh, 324 so in place of this one below this you will write it 324 now we know the and the length is given length of a rectangle is given that is 27 so you will write it 27 and they have asked for the breadth of the rectangle so this is the breadth hope this is very important point over here so now this will be this will be in the numerator this will go in the denominator because it is changing the side and this is the breadth so breadth is when you divide this one you can divide it separately and see by 27 so because you don't know the table of 27 so that you can divide separately that is going to be 12 centimeter the cost of flooring a room at rupees 25 per square meter is rupees 1125 if the room is 5 meter wide find its length so now we can write here because it is given cost is given as 25 so cost per square meter cost per square meter that is 25 rupees so total cost is given as is 1125 means the whole this is given as 1125 and the width 
wide means the width is given as 5 meter so here we have to first and we cannot find directly the area from this whatever the given thing so what will you do area of the room that is total cost so this you have to remember area of the room is total cost divided by cost per square meter so what is the total cost given 1125 so you will write a 1125 divided by cost per square meter that is given as 25 so you get your 45 meter square so first thing here we got the area but now they are asked here this is 5 meter wide and they are asked here to find out the length so area is equal to length into width because now because here this area is given the length of the room is given as this is 45 45 is equal to length we length we don't know and this is the width given so what will you do 45 will write as it is here this will go in the denominator this will be as it is on the same place so length of the room is 5 ones are 5 nines are so that is going to be you have to write this statement length of the room is 9 meter so this just try to remember this formula area of room is total cost divided by cost per square meter So now your carpet is placed in the middle of a floor of a room 15 meter long and 12 meter broad so that it leaves a uniform width of 1 meter around it. Find the area and area and cost of the carpet at rupees 500 per square meter. So the length is given. So this is 15 meter long. So length is given as 15 meter and 12 meter broad. So the breadth of floor this is given as 12 meter. So now what will you do? Width around the carpet. Now see here. So that it leaves a uniform width of around 1 meter around it. So now see here. This is the floor. And of course the carpet is going to be in mid, uh, somewhere here. So there will be some space in between the floor and the carpet. Isn't it? So whatever this space is, that is 1 meter. The width is 1 meter. So from what we can do here? So the length of the carpet. Now see this is the, this is the length. The, sorry this will be the this is the length of the floor this will be the length of the carpet so this is the carpet inside one so this is going to be the length of the carpet so what is this from here there will be one meter and from here there is going to be one meter and this is the floor so from both the places there will be two meters so what are we going to do from this 15 meter because the floor is 15 meter this floor is 15 meter so we are going to subtract this one and this one too. So this step is important. So what will you do here? 15 meter minus 2 meter. Ho hope you got this. How we got this 15 meter. Oh, sorry, this is 2 meter. So the length of the carpet is going to be 13 meter. Because once again, I'll repeat it. This is the floor. And this is the carpet. From both sides, 1, 1 meter is gone. So that is going to be 2 meter. So you have to subtract from this hole is given as, this, this length is given as 15 meter. So from that 2 is gone. So that is going to be 2 meter. Now this will be 13 meter. 15 minus 2 is going to be 13 meter. So now the again the breadth also will be the same. Because from every place. the This one. This all sides there is 1 1 meter gone. So the breadth also again you have to subtract 2 meters. And the breadth is given as 12 meter. So 12 meter minus 2 meter. That is going to be 10 meter. So the area of carpet. So now let us see what did they say find the area and then you have to find the cost this one so area of carpet is length into breadth because it is in the form of a rectangle the formula is length into breadth so we will write here 13 this we have to write 13 and not 15 because we want the carpet area and into this 10 so that is going to be 130 square meter and then we want they have given here cost of the carpet at rupees how much is that we have to find the cost because here per square meter so one square meter is rupees 500 so cost of one square meter of carpet is rupees 500 so cost of this much because this is the area of the carpet 130 square meter so below this 130 we have to write below this one so this will go here so 500 into 130 divide this one is going to be 65,000 so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.